Hello, this is Ron Paul with your weekly update for Monday, October 25th. President Biden's town hall meeting this week was a disaster. From his bizarre poses to the incoherent answers, it seemed to confirm America's worst fears about a president we are told was elected by the most voters ever. Though he didn't bother campaigning, we are to believe he somehow motivated the most voters in the history to pull the lever in his favor or mail in a ballot in his favor or something. After the town hall, the Wall Street Journal was early among mainstream media publications to observe that the emperor has no clothes. In an editorial titled, The Confusing Mr. Biden, the paper wrote, even with a friendly audience and softball questions, Mr. Biden's performance revealed why so many Americans are losing confidence in his presidency. The journal focused on one of the most shocking and disturbing revelations from the carefully crafted event. Asked by CNN's Anderson Cooper if the United States would come to the defense of Taiwan should it become under attack by the Chinese mainland, he replied, yes, we have a commitment to do that. Anderson threw him another softball in hopes he might correct this dangerous statement. But Biden was not nimble enough to see his golf. He doubled down. It was left to the chemical alley of this administration, White House spokesman Jen Psaki, to clarify that when the president signaled a major shift in U.S. policy, a shift that could well lead to nuclear war with China, he was just kidding or something. Said Psaki the next day, well, there has been no shift. The president was not announcing any change in our policy, nor has he made a decision to change our policy. There is no change in our policy. In other words, pay no attention to the man who pretends to be the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of the United States. But this is not George W. Bush, who was elected in 2000 with zero experience in foreign policy. This is not Trump who campaigned on a policy of peace while hiring John Bolton to carry out that policy. No, Biden has twice been chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Foreign policy has always been considered his one area of competence. Surely the Biden of even the Obama administration would have understood the potentially catastrophic implication of his statement. Strategic ambiguity has been the U.S. policy toward Taiwan and China for decades, but the new Biden-China policy would be renamed strategic incoherence. The policy of strategic ambiguity is foolish enough who cares who rules Taiwan, but advancing the idea that the United States is willing to launch a nuclear war with China over who governs Taiwan in a more whole level of American last foolishness. Imagine if China pledged to defend with nuclear weapons a claim by Mexico to its former territory in Texas. Is that incoherent and foolhardy? Thanks for listening. Please come back soon.